What's up guys, it's Mac Geek Alex here and um, today I'm going to show you uh, how you can extend the storage space of your Android device. So I know some of you may find that um, certain Android devices don't come with the SD card so you have limited space to work with. However, um, you can use something called a USB on-the-go cable which I have here. It's simply a micro USB to a regular USB cable that you can plug into the micro USB port on your device here um, and then extend it uh, extend your storage by plugging in a USB thumb drive so if you want to carry whatever documents, movies, music, photos um, on the thumb drive you can plug it in and um, today I'm going to show you how you can have the USB drive be recognized by the Android device. So first thing you're going to want to do is um, plug this into your computer which I'll do now and then go ahead and format the USB thumb drive um, as either HFS plus meaning Mac OS X extended journal or as um, NTFS if you're using Windows 7 or Windows 8 or whatever version of Windows you can format it as NTFS in this case I'm using Mac so um, I'm going to use this so this method only works with NTFS or HFS plus okay so I'm going to go ahead and give it a name USB hit erase and this should wipe. And, and um, another note uh, while waiting for it to race is that this USB on the go cable you can buy quite easily on eBay um, for a couple of bucks, right? So it's probably it's not going to cost you more than five US dollars, right? So I'm done erasing it, and now I will place some media on the USB device. In this case, I found this site where I can download royalty-free nature videos called Mother Nature Videos, and it's under Creative Commons license. So just to let you see, you know, I'm free to share and remix it as long as I attribute it appropriately, and it is from Mother Nature Videos. Okay, so what I'll do now is I will transfer. Um, this onto the USB drive. So I've already downloaded a video here from that website. And I'll transfer it now to the USB drive. So while we're doing that, um, head over to your Android device and go into the Play Store and search for Paragon NTFS and HFS mount. So this, what this software is gonna do is it's gonna, it's free download by the way. So what this software will do is it will recognize your USB drive that's formatted as either NTFS or HFS. There are other solutions out there. For example, if you're going to Galaxy Nexus, you can use the um, stick mount but I couldn't get stick mount to work with HFS only with um, NTFS so there we go it's completely transferred and let's just open up this software and take a look so I'm gonna allow super user request oh, I, I forgot to mention that you, you're gonna have to be rooted to have this work right so Let's pop into settings and you can see that I have it set up for mount on boot and mount on connect and it will show notifications when a USB drive of the HFS or NTFS format is plugged in. Alright, so I've transferred the file over to my USB drive. I will now eject the USB drive and plug it into my device here. Let's take a look. So, I'm going to put USB into the USB end of the OTG cable. 
and then plug the micro USB end into the micro USB end of the device. And once that happens, um, they have it. You should see it pop up. And now go to a file explorer of your choice. In this case, I'm using Solid Explorer. And you should see Paragon HFS um, pop up there. So pop into Paragon HFS. And I have Color Shifting Sunset. This is in 720p, so it was just to show the capabilities. Um, so there's, there's no sound, obviously, because this is a no royalty free audio associated with this but as you can see it plays quite well um, from the USB see it's reading from the USB and it plays quite well so yeah um, you can use this to extend your S SD card for people who don't have devices with space for SD card and um, well I, ho I hope this video helps and subscribe and like it's really gonna help us out a lot and um, I'll see you next time